So this is where we left off in part one. I created um, an object that said go get my express module and then using my express module I created a variable that had an express object in it and then with that express object which was an application I created a get route for the root directory your root of your home page that said go to this function and log something to the console and then send the response back to the client which was just a string and then it displayed that string on the web page and then this said for our application let's listen at port 3000 for any communication and while we're at it let's go ahead and display to the log I'm listening and that starts our server well let's do the following let's come back to our route and instead of sending a message I want to do the following so I deleted that area inside the route I want to create a brand new file and I'm going to save that file as, and I'll call it index.html. You can call it anything you want, really. And in that index.html, um, I am going to have the following. In the body, I'm just going to display a p tag. Oh, whoops. I have a typo there. In the body, I'm just going to display a p tag that says hello everyone and that's my main page I'll go ahead and save that now let's go back to the index.js file remember this is what gets served up this is the actual server file what we can do here is we can use our response and instead of sending a message we can actually send a file and if I did this where I just said let's send the index.html file let's see what happens let's save that let's go to terminal and start up node and let's go to our browser and let's go to localhost 3000 and we get an error and it says I don't know what's going on I don't know who you are and if we went back to our environment we can actually see that it doesn't know what file we're talking about it says I I really don't know who this HTML file is and the reason being is because it's actually looking for a C colon backslash index.html and that's not where we stored the file so we need to actually have a path that says go look in our current directory and let's see if we can use that to find our file so let's stop the terminal and what we need to do over here is let's do the following let's create a variable and we're gonna call that variable path equals and we're gonna require the path module so like a path library and then right here we're gonna say let's call that path and call the join method and in the join method we're gonna call underscore underscore dir name and then we're gonna concatenate that with our file name slash index.html and then add an extra parenthesis so what's actually happening here is this dir name the underscore underscore dir name that's an absolute path to the directory where the source file is being stored and so it's going to provide that path in fact let's do this let's put in a console.log underscore underscore dir name and we'll see what prints out when we run this so save that go back to terminal let's start node let's go back to our browser let's go to the local host and now it says hello everyone so how did that actually work because it said underscore underscore dir name uses that folder so that's a great way of grabbing the absolute path and now you can display an index.html file well let's do the following now that we know how to grab an uh, 
an HTML file. Let's go create another route. First of all, let's create a brand new index or a brand new HTML file. File, new, save. Whoops, sorry. File, new file. Then let's do a file, save as. Let's call it about.html. And we're just going to type in I am the about page. And you can type in a whole bunch of HTML and look beautiful. Save that file. And then come back to our server file. Let's copy this route and paste it in. Now remember, what a route does is it specifies if the user types in a specific URL, go do something. For instance, if they typed in localhost colon 3000, that would say find the root file. This is, this is like um, saying, whoops, sorry about that. This is like saying www.myproject.com com slash index.html and it would actually know if you just typed in that dot com this means the same thing go to the root file we're just using localhost because we haven't deployed this to a server yet so we're just using our own server so that's what that one means this means if we did this slash about and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the console.log because we already know what that did. But console.log is a great way to debug your program. And in this case, now let's say if they ever try to go to the about in the URL. So if they typed in right here, localhost 3000 slash about or www myproject.com slash about. Remember, this is, this is just pretending like it's a domain. Then it would say, yes, I found that route. Go run that file. So let's go ahead and save our program. Let's go back to Node. Start the server. Come back to our browser. Let's go to the local 3000. Hello, everybody. And then let's type in slash about. And it says, I am the about page. What if we typed in something else, slash test? It says, I don't know who you're talking about. And that's because we've never specified a route for that. If we typed in slash email, it says, I don't know who you're talking about. So let's do the following. Let's go back over to here and we'll stop note again and let's copy this route and let's add another route and this time it says email and let's create a brand new file I am the email file remember this could all just be HTML over here file save as and in this time I don't want to say email I want to say email page dot HTML just to show you something Go back to your server file and right here type in email page. So in other words, this is not the name of the file. This is the name of the route or the road on how you navigate. This is where you put the name of the HTML file. So go to terminal, new terminal, node, we start the server, come back to your browser. We'll go to our local host, and now let's go to email, and it says, I'm the email file. What if I said email page? It says, I don't know what you're talking about. What if I said email page.html? It says, I don't know what you're talking about. And the reason being, there's not a route called that. It looks for the name of a route. And so that's why back over in our um, JS file, I'm going to stop the server. In our JS file, these are just specifying what people would type in in the URL. And then we say, this is where you'd go to find that. 
So this is a way that we can have a Node Express app and specify different routes and how to get to those routes. But I want you to remember, we've only been writing the get routes. There's also a post route that we could write. But by default, when you go to a web page, it's trying to find the get route. We're going to learn in other videos that when we make a form tag in an HTML page, we can specify to use the post method. Then it will come into your index.js file and try to find an app.post with some route. And we'll see that in future videos. So this is how you work with get routes.